Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Matt, thanks for stopping by the channel. Now I'm taking a break from the Great Smoky Mountain series that I've done for the last three nights. I'm going to be tying a streamer tonight from Mike Vala's classic streamer fly box. I love this book. There's 100 of the coolest looking streamers you can imagine and, and Mike Vala is a master tire. They are, they are beautiful flies. So this one tonight is called the Beaver Kill and I picked it because it's one of the simplest patterns in here. It's really only got three components. You got a wool body, a uh, silver rib, and then two different colors of bucktail on an over and under wing. So it's a very elegant pattern, but it's pretty simple, easy to tie. I think you're gonna like it. Let's get started. So there it is in the vise. This is tied on a size eight. It's a mustad hook, five extra long. I'll explain the materials as I go. So let's get started. So first up, I am using black thread. I believe this is an ADOT. You could certainly go thicker than this. It's a streamer. But this is just what I had in the bobbin. So lay down a base all the way to the bend of the hook. Now the first component we'll want to tie on this is our tinsel. This is a medium mylar silver gold. I'm going to tie it with the silver side toward the hook so that when I flip it and wrap it we will be looking at the silver. So go ahead and catch this in. I'm going to take my thread back to where I want to start the wool body material. So the body is white wool. I'm using a a wool yarn, small strand of it right here. And when you want to catch it in by the smallest uh, amount of material possible, so you don't have a, a big bump there when you start rolling it. So I think that will work right there. Take your hook back to the front. I will put a little half hitch right here. So I can park my thread and use the rotary. Okay, now when you've got your thread parked out of the way, you can give this a little tighter spin to tighten up this yarn into a smaller rope. And then just start wrapping it around. Be careful with the point of the hook at the very start. That is really the only tricky part. After you get that, you can go a lot faster. So when you've got it up there about an eye length or so behind the, the eye, go ahead and catch your yarn in. Just a couple of tight turns right here. And maybe one more just to get it really secure. Go ahead and snip this excess off. Now let's wrap our tinsel. I'm going to counter wrap it. It's not for making the, the fly stronger or anything. It's really just so that these, this tinsel doesn't slide into those grooves left by the wool. So make evenly spaced wraps all the way up. Okay, when you're happy enough with that, go ahead and secure your tinsel. I'm going to fold it back over, take one more securing wrap just to really lock that in there. Snip off this excess. Now the first part of the wing, the underwing, just some white bucktail. This is a hair wing streamer. It's going to take a lot of stacking, and if you don't have the best of bucktail, it may not stack all that neat, and if it doesn't, what I will do when I take it out, I will just, you know, almost hand stack it, pull any fibers that are really long or out of place, just pull them out with my hand. So that is about the length, maybe a little bit longer. It's a really long hair wing. So I'm going to flip it over and catch this first bunch right along the bottom here. A 
Okay, that's, I've got a few tight wraps there. I'm going to hold it tighter and take maybe two more. While I've still got it upside down in the vise, I'm going to reach in here and cut this. If you can cut it at some kind of an angle, it might help you with that, get a little bit better of a taper, but you've got the eye to contend with, so it's not the easiest thing to, to cut that where you'll get a, a nice, pretty taper. If not, don't worry about it. As long as you got them caught in, you'll be fine. Okay, now flip the fly back over. Now we're going to take some black bucktail, just a little bit less than we had for, for the underwing, for the white. Okay, take a nice clump, put it in your stacker. Might take a fair amount of stacking right here. And this is probably not going to stack as well as my white did because it's just from a, a different part of the tail. So if I've got any, I've got a red thread in there. Where did that come from? Go ahead and try to pull that out. So about the same length. Maybe even just a tad bit longer. So I'm going to catch this in right here. Get rid of that scruff. I'm going to do a pinch wrap right here. Try that again. That's wanting to catch in right there, but I think we can work with that right there. I'm going to put a, got a couple of tight wraps on it right now. I'm going to hold it tight with my material hand and then put some medium wraps right here. Don't want it to flare. I want the top one to lay down just a bit flatter, like that. Now the underwing looks a little better when it's coming down well around the, the point of the hook and just all over the place. So get in here and cut this as close as you can get it. Might need to do just a little bit more trimming right here so I can get a nice clean head. Probably just push that up. See if I can get my thread up under there. And then build a little ramp. And just try to pretty up your head a little bit. That won't look too bad after I put a a drop of UV resin or head cement on it. So one whip finish, four or five turns will work here because I'm going to put probably two coats of head cement on this just to get a nice hard glossy look. And there you have it from Mike Vala's classic streamer fly box. Might do a little bit of trimming. Right here, I see a few that could could be trimmed, but the Beaver Kill streamer from Mike Vala's classic streamer fly box. Pretty fun to tie, a pretty cool looking fly. I like the, the looks of it, and I'm sure it looks pretty good going through the water. So that's all, folks. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.